In these problems, we're dealing with some special cases of systems of equations. You should know that when you solve a system of linear equations, what you're really doing is finding the point where two lines cross. So, for example, let's say I have this line right here and this line right here. It's that point right there that is the, what we call the solution to that system, the x and y value of that point. But there are some other possible cases. For example, you could have two lines that have the same slope. If they do, they're parallel and they're never going to cross. So there would be zero solutions. In this case, there's just one solution. Two lines only cross at one spot. And then there's one other possibility, and that is you could have two lines that are absolutely right on top of each other. If that's the case, they're really the same line, and the solutions are infinite, right? These lines go on forever, so there's an infinite number of points they have in common. So solution, number of solutions there would be infinity. Let's take a look at how that um, turns out when we're trying to solve them algebraically. Now this one is set up in such a way that it looks like maybe elimination would be an easy way to go about it. If I multiply the top equation by 2, we would get 6x, negative 8y, and 34. And now when I add these together, this x's disappear, and well, wait a minute, so do the y's negative 8 and positive 8y. So all I get left with on the left side of the equation is 0, and on the right I get 38. And that might look like a pretty strange result. Um, the thing to ask yourself when you end up with something like this is, is it true? Is the statement true? Is 0 equal to 38? And obviously, that's false. And what that means is that there is no uh, solution here. The, uh, the, these must be two parallel lines and there will be no solutions, no point where they cross. Let's look at one more. Now this system is set up in such a way that it kind of invites you to try the substitution method, so we'll go ahead and do that. This one is solved for x, so we'll plug that in for x here. So we get negative 2 times x, which now is negative 5y minus 4, and then we go on with the rest of the equation, minus 10y equals 8. Let's go ahead and multiply the negative 2 through. So negative 2 times negative 5y is positive 10y. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Then we've got minus 10y equals 8. And you can see when we combine our like terms, the 10y and the minus 10y, that equals 0. So we just get 8 equals 8. Another funny looking result, but in this case, when we ask ourselves, is the statement is true? It absolutely is. 8 does equal 8. And what that means is that um, the two lines are absolutely the same. They're right on top of each other. And the number of solutions here is an infinite number of solutions. There are a couple of words you should learn about this. When two uh, lines are uh, the same line, like in this case, they have an infinite number of, of solutions, we call the system dependent. So that's a term you should know. And then in the previous example, when the two lines are parallel and they never cross, we call the system inconsistent. So that's a little bit of work with some special cases of systems of equations.